Vernon God Little. Vernon God Little is a satirical novel by DBC Pierre, published in 2003, which went on to win the Man Booker Prize that year. Set in a small town in Texas, the book explores the themes of media sensationalism, teenage angst, and the American justice system, all while providing a satirical commentary on modern society. The story of Vernon God Little centers around the titular character, a teenager who becomes the scapegoat for a mass shooting that takes place in his high school. Vernon's best friend, Jesus, commits the shooting and then kills himself, leaving Vernon to face the consequences. Vernon is immediately thrust into the media spotlight, and his small town life is turned upside down as he tries to navigate the legal system and clear his name. The novel's plot is a satirical commentary on the American justice system, with the media and the public both eager to find someone to blame for the shooting. The novel explores how the media's sensationalist reporting can manipulate public opinion, as well as how the legal system can be biased against those who are not wealthy or powerful. Vernon's story is both tragic and humorous, with the book's dark humor providing a satirical edge to the novel's commentary on contemporary American society. DBC Pierre's character development in the novel is excellent, with Vernon being a particularly compelling character. Vernon is a complex character, who oscillates between moments of naivety and cynicism. Despite his flawed nature, the reader can empathize with Vernon, who is a victim of circumstances beyond his control. Other characters in the novel, such as Vernon's mother and the local sheriff, are also well-developed, with their motivations and desires driving their actions. The historical and cultural context of Vernon God Little is essential to understanding the novel's satirical commentary on contemporary American society. The book was published in the aftermath of the Columbine school shooting, which brought gun violence and school shootings to the forefront of the national conversation. The novel explores how media coverage of these events can perpetuate fear and perpetuate a culture of blame and scapegoating. Furthermore, the book provides a commentary on American consumer culture, with the small town in Texas being portrayed as a microcosm of the excesses of modern capitalism. The genre of writing and writing style used in Vernon God Little is that of dark humor and satire. The book's writing style is often irreverent and brash, with the narrator using vernacular language and slang to provide a realistic portrayal of the novel's small town setting. The use of dark humor is also prevalent throughout the novel, with the novel's humorous moments serving to undercut the tragedy and pathos of Vernon's story. The novel's themes are manifold, with the book exploring the themes of media sensationalism, the American justice system, teenage angst, and the excesses of consumer culture. However, the book's overarching theme is that of the corrupting influence of power. Throughout the novel, we see how those in power use their influence to manipulate the lives of those around them. Whether it's the media using Vernon's story to sell papers or the local sheriff using his position to further his political ambitions, the book highlights how power can be used for nefarious purposes. DBC Pierre's approach to writing Vernon God Little is to provide a searing critique of modern American society, using dark humor and satire to expose the flaws in the system. The use of dark humor is also prevalent throughout the novel, with the novel's humorous moments serving to undercut the tragedy and pathos of Vernon's story. The book's target audience is likely those who are interested in social commentary and satire, as well as those who are interested in exploring the darker side of contemporary American society. The book's themes and plot may not be suitable for younger readers, as it contains mature themes and language. The intricacies, metaphors, and symbolism used in Vernon God Little are numerous, and they add depth and complexity to the novel's narrative. One example of this is the symbolism of the television, which is used throughout the book to represent the media's manipulation of public opinion. The novel's use of a reality TV show, which is used to exploit Vernon's story for ratings, is also a commentary on the excesses of reality television. Another example of the novel's symbolism is the use of Jesus as a character. Jesus is portrayed as Vernon's best friend, who commits the school shooting and then kills himself. Jesus serves as a symbol of the corruption of innocence and the senseless violence that permeates American society. The use of metaphors is also prevalent throughout the novel. One example of this is the metaphor of the road, which is used to represent the journey that Vernon takes through the legal system. The road is a metaphor for the obstacles and challenges that Vernon faces as he tries to clear his name, with each turn in the road representing a new hurdle to overcome. The novel's use of satire and dark humor has earned it critical acclaim and numerous awards. In 2003, Vernon God Little won the Man Booker Prize, which is one of the most prestigious literary awards in the world. The book was also a finalist for the National Book Award and the Whitbread Prize. Additionally, the book has been translated into over 20 languages and has been widely praised for its sharp social commentary and biting satire. 
In conclusion, Vernon God Little is a satirical novel that provides a scathing critique of modern American society. The book's target audience is likely those interested in social commentary and satire, and its use of symbolism and metaphors adds depth and complexity to the novel's narrative. The book's critical acclaim and numerous awards are a testament to its sharp social commentary and biting satire. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more.